Good morning, welcome back. So we've come back round to Boot, or we're in Estelle at the moment, parked up, but we're going to do the third leg of the Lakeland 100 route, which is from Boot over to Wasdale Head. I've upgraded my route card, as you can see. After the last video, I went into Kendall and uh, went into the print shop and printed up an A3 version of the PDF that you can download offline, offline, online. And I fablonded it and waterproofed it, which is a pretty good thing, to be honest with you, because today it's a bit wet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it comes and goes as sections of pretty heavy rain. But it's quite mild today, which is quite nice. So uh, I hope it's gonna be a good one. Uh, unfortunately, a bit of a late start. It's about 10.30 now, so we'll get going once I've just gone through the waypoints that I've chosen out of today's, for today's run. So there's three waypoints for today's run. The first waypoint is taken from bullet point two on the route card. Take right fork down north for 800 meters to right side of Burn more tarn. Follow path round with tarn on left to cross tarn outflow. So waypoint one is the tarn outflow. There's a small bridge, footbridge over that outflow, so it's quite a prominent waypoint. I think the bridge is called Bulat Bridge. Bulat Bridge, Bulat, Bulat. There's a bridge. <laughs> That's waypoint one. Waypoint two is taken from bullet point four. After Cairn in path center and just before short uphill, Take right track and follow round to Wellkend Path north, down to wall and wood on left. So waypoint two is where the path meets that wall with the wood on the left hand side. And then waypoint three I've taken from bullet point seven. Turn right, follow tarmac road for 700 meters. Leave road at bend just before stone bridge. So where you leave the road onto the track that's waypoint three. All the other bullet points on the cards I'll go through as the run progresses. Today's run is 5.4 miles according to the route card, so it should be a quite short one today, which is kind of good because I've started late and of course I've got to come back as well. I'll probably just do the out leg to Wasdale Head and then just enjoy the run on the way back without any filming or vlogging. I'll just bomb it back, but we'll see how we get on. Today might be quite good. The weather's intermittently wet. It's overcast, as you can see, and there's intermittent, well, it's, it's pretty overcast. It comes and goes, but we're parked up in Eskdale at the moment, so it's just a quick half mile jog over to the mill. So we're gonna do that now. So here we go, we're back at the uh, corn mill. So as you saw there, it's only a short run from Eskdale, the train station there where I'm parked up. So yeah, checkpoint two, if we have a look at the uh, route card here. So bullet point one, from checkpoint, follow path uphill, through gate and take right fork, signpost Wasdale head, which is up here. Like I said back in the car, Waypoint one is taken from bullet point two. Bullet point two is take right fork down north for 800 meters to right side of Burnmore Tarn. Follow path round with Tarn on left to cross Tarn outflow, and that's waypoint one. So we're gonna head up here now and just bomb it over the moor to waypoint one. Right, so yeah, from checkpoint, uphill, through the gate. Let's go. This is the gate with the bridle path marker on it. I almost went the wrong way up there then, so it's a good job uh, I was paying attention. Yeah, it says on the route card, by checkpoint two, you've done two ascents. You've started at six o'clock in the evening. I, uh, I was chatting to a friend of mine, Fellside Coffee, who fuels me on my mornings and he was saying he's run it himself. He said he started at six in the evening. So taking into consideration first legs, seven miles, you're looking at two, two and a half hours maybe with that ascent. Second leg, another two and a half miles. 
So five miles, four to five miles, sorry, four to five hours. That's just a very rough estimate. You're still walking through the middle of the night getting to this point, so it'll still be quite dark. So yeah, four to five hours, give or take, to get to checkpoint two. Of course, at that time of year, it'll be around about 10, 11 o'clock, and it'll probably still be quite light. Well, not really. Last light would have been around about 10 o'clock maybe, but I can't imagine it'd be pitch black. I should imagine it's quite magical running through here at night. Yeah, if you've done it, let me know. Right, we're gonna crack on now to the Tarn outflow, which is waypoint one. Let's go. That's the southwest aspect of Scarfell up there. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of overcast cloud, but uh, this here is the Forkin Path. <laughs> so if we have a look at the route card, the last bit of bullet point one, follow path over Eskdale Moor for 3.1 kilometers with we William Beck on right to fork in path. So here is a fork in the path. As to whether it's the fork in path. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Um, who knows? But you know, again, if you've run this route, do let me know if there's a waypoint marker here or not. But even if you did go a little bit awry, just over there is the lake. So you know then, if you hit the lake, you just go right. And so then, an, uh, and so then the next point is, point two, take right fork down north for 800 meters to right side of Burnmore Tarn. Follow path around with Tarn on left to cross Tarn outflow. And that's where the bridge is. So yeah, it's called Bullock Bridge. And that's waypoint one for us. So just gonna head down there now. So uh, here we're coming up to the Tarn outflow, which is for us waypoint one. Yeah, I thought there was a bridge here. I remembered correctly. So this point here, bullet point two, follow path round with Tarn on left to cross Tarn outflow. And as you can see, what a view, eh? In the background there, you've got the southwest aspect of Scarfell. And just up to the right there, that ridge there, I can't remember what it's called. Awesome hike, FYI. If you're thinking of uh, going up there, taking that ridge line up the back there, from, uh, you can park up in the National Trust car park in Wahouse Farm, which is on the other side there. Right, so next point, let's have a look at the route card. Three, continue past Tarn Head on Boggy Path with occasional cairns northwest for 620 meters to Ruined Wall on left. So yeah, I don't know if you can make out, but just in the distance there, you can see the Ruined Wall. So we're gonna head up there now. There you go. This is continue past Tarn Head on Boggy Path with occasional cairns to ruined wall on left. And this is the wall on the left. Point four, after cairn in path center and just before short uphill, take right track and follow round to well kenned path north down to wall and wood on left. I'm guessing this is the cairn in center of path and here is take right track and follow round to Wellkend Path North. So we're gonna head up there to Waypoint 2, which is where the track meets the stone wall and the wood. Let's go. Ah, 
here you go. This is where we meet the uh, the wall with the wood. So yeah, bullet point point bullet point point bullet point four. After Cairnin Path Centre and just before short uphill, take right track and follow round to Wellkind Path, which is what we did, and then down to Wall and Wood on left, which is here. And you can get a really good view here of Blacksail Pass and Wasdale Head, which uh, is that small cluster of buildings there in the in the distance. Behind there, you can see Kirk Fell, and just to the right is Great Gable and uh, just there on the left is Black Sail Pass. So yeah, we're at waypoint two. So the next prominent way, well, the, the next waypoint, waypoint three is where we leave the road to get onto the track. So yeah, let's have another look at the route card. So going off the route card here, follow Rocky Path with wood on left over Stone Bridge and continue down through gate. Keep to path down by wall and through gate on right. Continue with wall on left and through gate to pass Bracken Close Climbing Hut on right. So the next two things of note are the stone bridge and the climbing hut. So we'll keep an eye out for those. Right, let's go. As we can see there, bullet point seven. Turn right, follow Tarmac Road for 700 meters. Leave road at Bend just before Stone Bridge. That's our waypoint three. Go left through Kissing Gate, signpost Wasdale Head. Continue for 700, 650 meters on grassy track through Gated Wall to Stone Bridge on right, which is there. And then it says cross bridge and checkpoint three is a barn directly ahead. So I'm guessing, let's cross over this bridge first. So I'm guessing that the checkpoint is in here somewhere. So here we are, checkpoint three over the stone bridge and it's in one of these barns here. Going off the route card, uh, point seven says cross bridge and checkpoint three is a barn directly ahead. One of these barns. So yeah, that's, uh, that's leg three out of the way. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a bit of lunch and then I'm gonna head over and check out Wasdale Church. It's a cool little church, it's quite a lot of history. Uh, so we're gonna check that out and then um, yeah, we're gonna head back. That's a cool little church. So yeah. Okay, well, that's today's run pretty much done with. I've just got to get back now. 
but I, uh, I think I'm just gonna call it, oh dear, I had no idea this was here. Hold on the feet. That's today's run pretty much done. All I've got to do now is get back to boot. But I'm going to sign off. I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to put my camera away and I'm not going to get it out. And so this return leg is just going to be a straight up run. But next leg, leg four to Batamir. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that and it made a bit of sense and you found it interesting. Do let me know if these videos are of interest or if you'd like me to do anything differently, let me know. But apart from that, yeah, I'm just gonna get going back now. So until the next video.